All right, so now we have created the Jenkins service connection in the Azure DevOps. Now we need the service hooks. So how we can create the service hooks in the Azure DevOps? On the same page, if you scroll up, you will see the service hooks is there under the general. Okay, so you select the service hooks. Under the service hooks, you need to create a new service hooks for that. So here you can see the plus signs. I will show you from the step by step how you can configure the service hooks. So you click on the plus sign here and then you need to select the service to integrate with the Azure DevOps. So we need to integrate the Jenkins as a service. So I am just selecting the Jenkins then click on the next button. Now here you need to select the build completed code boost pull request merge and the release so we select the code boost when someone will push the code to the repository the jenkins should trigger the build automatically now here i need to select the repository so we are using the student login demo devops so i'm just selecting this one and then i'm just going to select the master branch and or you can provide any branch and this is pushed by any member of in the group now select the next now here select the configure the action to perform so here we have the perform this action to trigger the jenkins build or trigger the git build so if you select the trigger the git build provide the jenkins base url username and the api token and it will trigger any build in the jenkins server okay and if you want the generic build so i want to trigger the particular build only so what i will do i will select the trigger gen generic build under the settings it is asking the jenkins base url so you need to provide the jenkins base url so you copy this one okay this is the jenkins base url till the port number so this is the uh, jenkins base url now here the username will be the Jenkins username this is the admin username but here the API token which we need to generate in the Jenkins so for that you can go to your Jenkins web UI go to admin under the admin go to the configuration section under the configurations you can see the API token is there so you need to create a new API token so you select the add new token and here we can say the demo token and then you need to generate the token now you need to copy this token you copy this token and here you can apply and the save and the same token you can come and paste it here now you have the api token now here you need to select the build so we want to build the code so you can select any of the build you want to select the deployment job you want to select pull code run job so in this we will see the build process through the jenkins and this is the integration level built in jenkins api that's why we selected the api token and now let's test okay now you can see this is a succeed the trigger generic build is succeed now i'm just going to close and then you finish the configuration okay so now you have this jenkins service hooks created here okay now how the azure devops will trigger the jenkins build so for that we will go to the repository section so we have the repository so let's go to the repository first these are the azure repository because this is the code pushed continuous integration process so we have our repository in azure repos and this is our repository name now i want to update something in my repository so that i can see the build is triggered automatically or not so when someone is working in the organization for the same repository and if they push the code okay or they commit the code so for demo let's 
uh, let me add something here so first i need to add it this one so suppose someone added or the change the pom.xml file so let me change something so i will remove the space here okay this space i just remove in the pom.xml file now i want to commit the changes so as soon as when i click on the commit the jenkins build will start here now how let's see so first you can go to the jenkins dashboard in jenkins dashboard you have the build job is there so you click on this jenkins build job now here you can see i am not clicking on the build now here manually earlier what we were doing we need to come on the jenkins server and we need to click on the build now okay here we want to update something from the azure repository so we need to commit the code and when we commit the code in the azure repos we should see the one job should trigger here automatically so let's wait when the job build job 6 will trigger automatically here so, um, this time i'm not going to click on the build now if you can't see the job here you just refresh the page or the server console all right so you can see the build 6 is automatically trigger and this is in the pending finish the waiting okay and this trigger happened when we commit something on the azure devops repository so you can see the build is automatically triggered through the azure devops this is how we can use the jenkins ci server and how we can integrate the jenkins ci server with the azure devops and in the azure devops how we can utilize the jenkins services to build our code so this is the build success is there so like that you can build the code using the service hooks in the azure devops